So uh, it, it, in the movie, it, it shows y'all moving into the building. Right. It seemed like that really pissed him off. Yeah, I, I think it did too. And then the cold part about it, though, is that even then, bro, you don't even understand. Like, he, <laughs> he, even then, I was an advocate for him at that point in time. I was telling them, like, man, I believe that the best move would not be to move up in there. You see what I'm saying? We had several meetings about it. I mean, the people that was involved, we had several meetings about it. And at every meeting, I stressed the fact that I don't believe we should go in there. You see what I'm saying? Right. They kept saying that it was a, a opportunity and it was a place that, that was being offered. And you know what I'm saying? So if it's offered, we can't just turn away because it's offered. It's a, you, you see what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. so basically it was like them throwing it at us. You see what I'm saying? Just like, okay, he's not there to do the work. The work still needs to be done. Can we, you see what I'm saying, put y'all here and keep, you know. Was it ever discussed to bring him on board? No, at that time he was he was in court shooting. I mean, he oh, was yeah. Yeah, at that okay. time. At that time he was fighting the case. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, uh, with, and, and the cold part about it, so when after, so we put the program together. We put the program together. We give it to, because like I said, when, when after the shooting, they approach me. They like, okay, the work still needs to be done. So I tell them, we, we, we all get together. Me, Pernell, even OG Field, a, co- a couple, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I mean, Crips was on the, on the side. We was on the side. So we put together the proposal. We give them the proposal. They turn our proposal down because everybody on the proposal is a felon. <laughs> Damn. So like I said, they asked us what they could do. We put the proposal together, then they turn us down because everybody's felon. So we needed actually we needed Reverend Kelly's for his reputation, his name, his, his network. His ne- do you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So we needed him to come on board. We actually needed him to to be the the actual face, you know, face of the program because he was going to have to be the one that issued the checks, that signed the checks, that signed the actual contract. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? I mean, we didn't have nothing to do with the actual signing of the contract because at that point in time, they had gave it to him and allowed him to put the pieces together. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's how that happened. So. Ha- this movie to you wasn't about the Holly. It was about Terrence Roberts. It was it was strictly about Terrence Roberts. It didn't have nothing to do with the Holly. I mean, even in and that you know, like like for me, little bro. See, for me, the sad part is this. You know, you can degrade your neighborhood and talk down on the people that you know you once said you loved or once said you you know care for and then in the same turn smile like you know this is like this is actual truth bro like how can you smile when you know you lying when you when you had this lie I couldn't I couldn't smile in front of these people if I know my story ain't authentic. I if 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 I know that there's so many gaps and so many holes and so many untruths, I I just couldn't stand up in premieres and he 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 and do, I I couldn't. You know what I'm saying? The the because the lie in it is just too big to be overlooked. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it just feels like even in the midst of him even trying to come at me. You still made me the star of your movie. You see what I'm saying? How, how can you use my image, my likeness, the, everything? Because if I'm not in the movie, your movie's not the movie. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? 
I mean, who wants to hear about your career? Who wants to hear about what you've done? Who wants to hear about you don't have enough? Your, 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 your catalog ain't deep enough to have people interested in what you really done out here. So you had to use somebody else to pique the interest of the people. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's that's the crazy part to me. That's 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 like narcissists. It's like <laughs> <laughs> So there was a live on Facebook, man. You wasn't on the live, <laughs> no. but there was a live between P yeah. and Terrence. Yeah. I had I, I had a I seen it. I had Nutcase in here, and I, I asked him what how'd he feel because he he's generations under y'all, and um, I asked him how he feel, and he said that was just a bad look. He said, uh, uh, it they started off as Parnell and Terrence, they ended as P Log and Showbiz. Yes. How do you feel about that? Um, I feel that it was poorly planned and poorly executed. <laughs> On everybody's behalf, on you know what I'm saying. I mean, and I, you know, upon, upon, you know, sometimes we do stuff, and then we want to take it back, but we can't. And I believe that's how P felt. You know what I'm saying at the time. You know because at the time he wasn't. You know he allowed it the emotional portion to take over. You know what I'm saying, and he allowed for he allowed for showbiz's face to appear and him scold showbiz as if he was in the hood big homie style you see what i'm saying and you know it it was just a bad look for everybody to see that you know what i'm saying and then for terrence to turn back into showbiz to allow for it to Function, you you know, to yeah. even to even take place like that. Because another candidate for the mayor race was in the comments. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you know, and it, it's just crazy, man. Because you know, I really just wish people would listen. You know, people are hearing, but people are not listening. And when you listen, you hear the real talk. You see what I'm saying? I yeah. Mean, and I mean, I'm, I'm listening. And up to this point, I haven't heard absolutely nothing. I'm like, okay, well, what are you going to do for the people of Colorado? What are, what are you going to do for these fine people of Colorado? What are, what's your vision for, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I mean, and all I've heard about is, 60 bloods surrounding me and me having to defend myself. And I mean, when are you going to get to the issues? When are you going to get to, you know, what's important for, you know, the, the kids going to school, the teachers that's needing a, a bump in salary. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, what, what, what are you going to do for the fine people of Colorado when you decide that you're going to move away from me? You see what I'm saying? Because it don't seem like you're able to move away from me. You can't take me into to the office. 